10 made it. 10 made to made it to the party. So with that, I'm gonna say good night and thank you everyone. Thank you, Mary and Laura and Lizzie who's coming up. Well, there you all are already. Golly, golly Moses. Um, oh, I hope I'm in the right place. Boy, I sure hope I'm in the right place. I should get a package on Thursday, Ski. Are you sending me the children? Cool. Send me the children. And I needed a picture of Jeremiah with his new glasses, too, because I'm printing them out and putting them in frames. Okay. Can you all hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, I don't know if they can hear me. Gosh, I hope so. Hi, Kathy Berg and Lori and Nicole and Peggy and Gail and Lise. Lise, I sent you off a happy mail today. So you'll be watching your mailbox. Tammy Wolf, Gail. Oh, I said Gail. Susan Hill, hello. My goodness, and Lisa and Lori and Nicole and Kathy Lake and Mina. Mina, do you know that my grandchildren call me Mina, although we spell it M-E-E-N-A? They call me Mina. I am their Mina. And there's Peggy and Arlene and the Renee. Well, oh, I'm just going back here. Okay. And Skeeter Brewer in Arizona, that's my eldest child who is 51 years old. Good grief, he's going to be 52 in December. I can't imagine having an, a, a child that old. There's Cindy Trifone. Oh, look at you guys. Tammy Frazier. Look at all you peeps. My goodness sakes. I just love seeing all you. I just love seeing you. All, I, you are all so beautiful this late at night. Well, there is Lottie Faith, my Andy. Oh, my goodness. And Trucker Janie. Oh, you guys are awesome. We have been ha the concrete butterfly. I Hi, Carrie. Carrie is the concrete butterfly. I got to remember that. There's Teresa Petro, Kendra Collins. Kendra, I'm so proud of you. You was on the porch. Me and Papa spend so much time on our porch. I was glad to hear you got out on your porch. Barbara Clark. Oh, no, you do not have to be. Well, maybe you do have to be. No, you don't have to behave yourself. Yeah, AJ's Inspired Life. Oh, there's Sharon Marlowe. Sharon Marlowe will be on quick as I get done, if I ever get done. But I am such a motor mouth. I'm such a motor mouth. But let me show you so far what I've done. I've been trying to work right along with everybody and working on my journal. And then, so just, Anne had just said, just at the end of her stream, that um, Lizzie's on next. And I looked at my desk, I had junk piled all over the place. I thought I still had one more person before me. But I decided to make my journal using some vintage cards that I had. I've got like vintage cards. And this was a greeting card and it was, says jumping jelly beans. So my the name of my journal is a jumping jelly bean. I put the button on like was showed and even I had the little elastic there. I put I put a hole in the back and I put a grommet in the hole. And so um so so that that I put extra paper and I use the envelope on mine. Mine's the envelope so I've got a pocket in the back. And then I had found the cutest papers that I they were 12 by 12s, but I cut them down so they would fit in my journal. And so, and this was part of that 
card that I took apart here, and then I got the neatest pages. This is, and mine is mostly flowers, because I think, yes, you're right, Nicole, a messy desk is a good time. And so I've been using up these, I've been hoarding these vintage greeting cards, and I decided I'm not going to hoard them anymore. I'm going to use them. Like I always thought, well, they're too valuable to use, but I'm using them. And so this was the envelope that we got on, um, that we were showed on, on Laura's, the Jersey Crafters time slot. And so I put the envelope, but then I put the flip out using the card as a flip out and write and put that right on the other side of the envelope. And these two, these come out of the same greeting card vintage greeting card but this was this was a, a sympathy card so i had to cover that up i covered that up but then here i made it oh no did it get glued in there this is oh yeah it did well that's okay it's fixed now it's just a journaling card but i um i punched out a four hearts because i had to put them on my on my heart strings but then i just stick that back in there and then that's a journaling card and then there's another flip out, which was a card. And I put those two birds on there. And these, I got to finish this up. This was something I had made before with the tickets, but my little spots aren't staying on. So I got to glue them back on. And then here's the clusters I just made with, with, um, oh, Lori. And then here was another vintage card that I just glued in the two corners. And there's another one of my strips. Love these little pages. They're so summery. Another cluster. Here was another vintage card. And I um, have a tag in there. And that's what I do. All my, my binding is seven stitches. I did the three stitch, but I got set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have eight, eight holes. But then I also always put hearts on the ends of my strings when I tie it in so that... <coughs> So the, that I have heart strings. And here, just quacking, it says. I just glued that card in on two sides to make that tuck spot for that tag. And this was another vintage card. It says, remember me? And it's so cute. The um, fence posts are glittery and the little girl is talking to the bird. But that was a vintage card, too, when they used to fold them in quarters back then and so this one was folded in quarters and so I had the inside of the card and the outside of the card to use as flip out and here's uh, the cluster and um and then I have this was another greeting card part of one that was the inside of that quack one I think I'll, of course, I still have to decorate all my tags. I just stuck them in there. And another cluster. Here's to you, my friend. And then another card that I stuck inside that card and then still made a, a spot for a tag there by only gluing three sides. And then here, here's a guy fishing. And that's definitely a summertime a summertime activity and um well you can fish all year round. lorraine chubb hello oh my gosh yes oh you guys are amazing and so then that holds see i can still do more decorating here and then here was another vintage card which all of, oh that was a sympathy card too so i had to cover up that sympathy thing we don't want no sympathy going on around here. Another cluster. And so I've been just following along. And um, and then I was making the uh, I was making these the clips with Anne and doggone it if time just got away from me. Where can I put them? I gotta put them somewhere. Just a minute, I'm gonna get to my tassel. See there, that tag I made as a little flip out. And this one here will go on the side of a page. We'll put just stuck that one right there. It doesn't have to stay there. I can put it somewhere else later if I want to. But see, I just made that like a little booklet flip out. I mean, she was working on Ken. She worked hard on poor old Ken. Poor old, she put Ken through the ringer. <laughs> I was just laughing here and I was, hi, Penny. And Barbara Clark, Renee, Sharon Mark, all of you, Aunt Beck, um, 
gosh, I've heard so much about you, Auntie Beck, about your um, Dirty Dozen. Dirty Dozen? Yeah. But anyway, when you get to starting them again, I want to do them because I see it just sounds like so much fun. And I got to have a googly eye in my book. Somewhere in my book always has to have a googly eye. So I made one of my paper clips with a googly eye and a butterfly. And is that all of them? Oh, yeah, that's all I made. And I also, I um, some torn cloth I put on there, too. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my... Oh, here was another one. This was like an envelope that I made out of a guest check. And um, so that's going to go in here, too somewhere. I'm sure I got room for it. I'll put that right here. So there, I'll put that one right there. Okay, so it's getting a little chunky. I love it. I love chunky. I'm one that loves, I'm chunky. So hey, now I'm going to show you this. This is what I'm going to show you how to make this here, this here um, dangle, tassel, tassel. Okay, this here, this was so funny. I got this. Oh, I think I threw the rest of it away. I got this in the mail today. This, it says, Trust the Real Smile Artists. And um, it was actually on an advertisement from a dentist. Trust the Real Smile Artist. It was an ad, but it was heavy. And so I glued onto the back, up where, because then there was writing on the back advertising why well, didn't want that and so i um just put this butterfly paper but this is how this this is a simple tassel so the way this one will work especially when you've got a like a one signature journal like this is to use this as a bookmark that's the bookmark and then your tassel just hangs off the edge like this and so that's a very, very simple one. And, and then you've got that bookmark there. And, and tassels on your journals are so awesome because you want, to you want your little chairs turned up a little closer? Okay, dear love. Let me see if I can get your chairs up a little closer. Just a minute. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now you're going to be able to see. Now, so, and this is a very, very simple but fun little tassel. And you can take this one and go to town with it by making even more fancier. Even more fancier. Okay, so I have this chubby yarn. I also, hmm, this is like bulky yarn. Like they call it like blanket yarn, I guess. But then I've also got some um, torn strips, torn fabric strips. I don't know if I'll get to the torn fabric strips. But what I'm going to do, what I need to do here, because, see, you would measure how long the spine of your journal is. And so I can see that mine is eight and a half inches here. So I don't want my my the whole thing i want it to be less than that so it doesn't like drag on the ground and stuff so i put sharon marlowe's name here so i wouldn't forget who's coming next so this tassel is actually let me just see now let me look at my ruler let me look at my brand new ruler and um, and it let me see because i remember yes that's five inches so what I'm going to do, this is, good grief, Elizabeth Marie. Now, so I'm going to take, I've got 10 strands, 10 inches long each. 10 strands. So I'm going to cut these 10 strands to about 10 inches long each. Okay, so I'm going to cut 10 strands. And that's just approximately what you want. Um, you, if you have fabric strips or any kind of, um, if you have a lighter weight yarn or something, you might not want, you may want more or less. But I'm just doing this one with 10 strips because I did that other one with 10 strips. 
Okay. One scooch back. Okay, one scooch back. Okay, let me see. Oh, everybody gets pretty doggone picky here. There you go. That's one scooch. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. One, two. You made me lose count, you know. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, so now I got ten strips. Ten strings. Ten of them doohickeys. And then I have some, I have wooden beads here. You can use these kind of wooden beads. Or you might have like pony beads or something. But you'll really need one with kind of a large hole for these, for this particular kind. For this particular kind. And then I use a crochet hook. A thin crochet hook that my pin, my crochet has, that will hold. It, it's okay, Renee. Just watch yourself. No spit wads, nothing that, pea shooters. Yeah, I'll set you in a corner. Quicker than you can bat an eye. Okay, so I put my, see, in the corner. Okay, Lori, so I'm sending it to the little corner. Okay, so I, I, Put my crochet hook there and then hook it on to the yarn and pull it through. And then I'm just going to tie a knot on that end. Tie a knot there. See that way? And then I'm going to get another one, another bead, and I'm going to do the same thing. And this is going to get very, it's a scooch, it's a scooch less than a scamp. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys are funny. You guys are so funny. You cracked me up. I mean, I just got done like a pinch. Yeah. I just got so cracked up with Anne, I swear. She was giving poor old Ken a lobotomy, I'm telling you. And that was after the castration. I'm <laughs> telling I left a message. I says, I think maybe in your last life you were a you were a surgeon and not a teacher. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's those kids drove her to. <laughs> She's just so funny. But man, I love people with a sense of humor. I just do. You know, and those are the ones I love to watch. Those with a sense of humor. I love to watch those with a sense of humor. Some of them are, there's some. Crafters, well, no, mostly most crafters are all have like a sense of humor, but some people that I watch, I've been, you know, watching some people, and some of them have no sense of humor, and those are the ones that are hard to watch for me, anyway, because yeah, the cool kids hang out in the corner a lot, yeah. Oh gosh, now they're passing notes in class, passing notes in class. And Peggy loved swapping her Fritos for Hostess cupcakes. Oh, yeah. I would have done that, too. Definitely. What, uh, what item is on the auction block tomorrow? You know what? I didn't even do a video on my auction block item. But I will put that up early in the morning. I'll put my item up. I just got poor old Teresa sent off today because I'm slow as molasses in January. Molasses is slow in January, but I did get it sent off. But I throwed a lot of extra stuff in her box just as a, um, just as a, um, you know, like a, like a, I'm sorry, I'm so slow thing. Yes. Okay. See, so I'm getting one at each end in case you in case I didn't say that. See? And it really, if you have uh use your crochet hook to pull them through, it's like nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, Auntie Loopy would trade for Reese's. Oh gosh, I would die for Reese's cup. Oh. But you know, 
when you got the diabetes. My doctor gets so nuts when I tell him, what's the problem if I eat like one candy bar a week? He says, the problem is it shows up in your A1C. I used to live on them things. Okay. Fruit candy pops down next to Lori. Okay. See how you guys are so silly? I opted for paper airplane boys always got flames. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool when you um, get to mess around in class and somebody else gets flamed, especially when it's the boys. So I'm just putting a knot in here. The knot keeps the bead from coming off. And we don't want the bead to fall in the floor. Oh, I didn't see Anne come in. Sour apple is the best. Anne, hello, and I loved your stream. Gosh, I don't ever want to miss your streams. I do not. I love storytellers. Yeah, you did really, really, really good. But poor, I do feel bad for Ken, though. I will, I will never be able to look at my Ken the same again because I'm going to think about his lobotomy and his castration and his. What else did you do to that poor guy? Vasectomy. I'm telling you, you give that poor old Ken a pretty hard time. Pretty hard road to go. Okay, so see, we're still going. Oh, that one's got a smaller hole. Well, I was raised with big brothers. They taught me the airplane trick. Oh, see? So you had very helpful big brothers. Yes. Ugh. Oh, the teacher's pet. It always, you know, I don't know if teachers... I, Anne, did you ever have any children that were your pets? Did you have teacher's pets in your class? Yeah. Usually all it was just, would you all quit spitting? Sharon's now spitting. Jeez. Hmm. Must have to send every one of you to the principal's office. <laughs> teacher's pet. Oh, my goodness. I only got three more to go here. So this boredom. Which time am I on to? Oh, that's right. 1130. My time, 1130. It is way past my bedtime. I have had so much coffee. And was ruthless with kids. I'm telling you. She was. She was ruthless. Poor old kid. I'm telling you. She gave him a hard road to hoe. He's never going to be the same again. <laughs> Poor Ken. He's now a soprano. If any of you did not watch the last per hopper, the last hopper, you have to go back and watch it. Anne. Well, oopsie, that one didn't fit. Uh, you have to go back and watch Anne. She is absolutely hysterical. And her stream was good. She um, she made a paper clip out of Ken. Mm -hmm. Poor Ken. I love Anne. She's a retired school teacher and a retired bank teller and a retired oh, something else. She said she worked. I can't remember. She was. I think she was surgeon in her last life. I think. Or maybe that's what she's going to be next. Now that she's got all that experience, hands-on experience with Ken. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She was cracking me up. I swear I was laughing and falling off of my stool. It was She was just killing me. Just when I'd quit laughing about one thing, then she'd say something else. There I'd go again. Why am I getting somebody trying to call me? No, stop. Why would somebody be calling me 11 o'clock at night? Oh, I'll have to call her back. It's my Irma, my friend Irma, back in the hospital. Oh, bless her heart. I'll call her back. Irma, love. 
I'll have to call you back, sweet cheeks. Oh, I'll call her back. Maybe I can call her back. How do I get it to quit ringing? <laughs> and it's a FaceTime, yeah. How many times is it going to ring? Is it going to ring until I decline it? Just a minute. Let me see if I can decline it. Well, where in order does it go? Oh, there it is. Decline. Okay, I declined it. Okay, I'll call her back. Bless her heart. Yeah. That's my, my friend um, Irma. She's a crafter. She has been so sick lately, lately in and out of the hospital. She just went back in the hospital again today. So if you're any kind of a prayer warrior, just send out a prayer for Irma. Okay, now I have a split ring. Now you can use a split ring or I've got other things here like different kind. I use this ring on the one I made. It's just a plastic ring. And then I thought these, these must be vintage. These are those cafe curtain rings. You know, any kind of a little ring you can use. Okay, but I'm going to use this split ring on this one. But what I'm going to do is put each one of them balls <laughs> through there. See what I'm doing? And I'm just hanging them on there. I'm just dropping them through there and hanging them on. Beads. I'll call them beads. I won't call them balls. I'll call them beads. But look at with all the different colors, how pretty it looks like that. Now, oopsie daisies. You see, I'm just sitting them all inside that split ring. Inside whatever kind of a ring. If you've just only got your wedding band, heck, use that. Now, see, they're all just hanging in that ring like that. Now, I'm going to take another piece. Let me take that one a little bit longer. Um, well, I don't know how long, about this long. I have that one about this long. Um, <laughs> okay, and what I'm going to do here, now, I'm going to leave this end down like this, and then I'm going to make a loop up here. Now I'm going to just hold that there with that loop up here and this one piece hanging down. Okay, then I'm going to take this, the rest of it, and I'm going to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it a few times going down like this. See? Then I'm going to take this straggler here and I'm going to put it through that loop that I made up there. See there? Then that last straggler that I left hanging down here, I'm going to find the one without the straight bead on it. Where'd it go? Where did it go? It's hiding. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. This is it. Okay. I'm going to pull this one now. See? And what happens when I pull that one, then see, and I just put that, that pulls that loop that you were holding up there. That's not it either. Gosh. That pulled it down underneath there. See there? So now it's good and tied. It's, it's good and tight. So I'm just going to take those two new strings now. And I'm just going to make an extra little square knot right there. That's what I'm going to do for sure. And then I got those two strings without a... Um, that don't have a bead on them. So I'm going to get me two more beads. I'm going to put this one on this one. And tie the little knot. Now we're talking about skipping school. You guys are so funny. Okay. And then I'm going to put another bead on this one. Let 
and tie that in a knot so it will stay and there I have my tassel isn't that pretty I think it's very pretty okay so then okay I got extra beads now that's beautiful now what I do is I have let me see. I had them right set up here when I was all ready. When I was all ready to do the Freddy. Oh, here. I had this came from a card as well. I this was a, a greeting card, so I just took the front of the greeting card and I cut it in half. Oh, that's how it went. See? I cut it in half, but I'm going to glue it together. I'm going to glue it together. And, and so it'll make, this is the bookmark part. The bookmark part of the deal. Come on, glue. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to just, Squish them together. Squish them. I slide it a little so that glue will. Okay. And there now. See? There now I have that bookmark. And it's the same on the both the sides. And then I'm going to round the corners with my corner rounder doohickey. I like round corners. On some things. Not everything. Round corners is good. And then I'm going to put, let's see, I got time. Yeah, I got time. I'm going to punch a hole with my whole punch rooney thing. This, this here. I'm going to punch a hole in here. Okay, so there, I got a hole in there. But my hole's not big enough, so I have to kind of cheat my hole to make it a little bit bigger. The reason I need to make it a little bit, bit just the tiniest bit bigger is because if you've got a hubster that's got the coolest junk in his, in his, this is quite heavy. If he's got the coolest junk in his workshop, this is a grommet tool. This is like a big butt grommet tool. So then I have like grommets. And these are the neatest things because they even got a top on them. And so they got a thing ring. So I'm, you know, but you have to have a hubster that has, you know, that has a tool too many tools he doesn't need them he doesn't use it so i told him if you ever need it you know where it is so i put that grommet on the bottom then i put the tag on the grommet and then i put that washer on the top of that and then this sucker just right there perfect grommet every time they do sell these though they do sell these suckers at um where did I where did I see them? I seen them somewhere. I seen them at um I think I seen it on Amazon. It was like 50 bucks. But I mean you can steal them though. You can steal them if your hubster has one in the in his shop. So but they're pretty heavy. But I don't mind it being heavy because it works like a charm. And so then now I have the bookmark. And then I have, let me see, where did I put that spool of ribbon? I'm telling you, I had a spool of ribbon because I had everything just absolutely beautifully, um, sort of, kind of beautiful. Well, I don't see it now. So I'm not going to use a ribbon. I'm going to use another piece of this. And um, because it's here, that's what I'm going to use. And so then I will just put, put my yarn through there oh harbor freight you know what i think that's where he actually got that was harbor freight see there and then where's my 
that one over there. And then tie the the um tie the string, tie the dumaflagi to the thingamajig, and then with the whatchamacallit. There we go. See? Now the bookmark, whoopsie daisies. Now the bookmark is tied to the charm. So this is a nice, God, geez, I almost got my finger. So there, look at that. Is that amazing or what? Then you just put the bookmark in your book, in your book, and then it will hang off the spine. And you can use, oops, this, this bead's supposed to come down there where you, where did that one go? Hmm. I had one bead that wasn't behaving itself. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, get back down there. Okay. But see, there you go. And so you've got this. There's other ways, too, that you can actually. Um, Lizzie, that bookmark is the journal's arm candy. There you go. Yeah. And so, um, but see, and that went together really simple. Really simple. And you don't even have to have beads on it. You can do that anyway with just yarns, just different fibers. And if you have like really little um, thin fibers, you can maybe put like little charms on some of them. You don't have to put them on all of them. Oh, did you get one of them, Dr. Brown? One of those, um, one of those grommety things but see now i had i had some string here or some fabrics too that i had had um had ripped because i thought if i went a little slower that maybe i could make another one but i run my mouth too much so anyhow but you can use these fabric straps straps strips i put my needle i have my needle there what i did my sewing but look at this this okay now Sharon Marlowe is coming on next and she'll be on in like about six minutes and and every one of you that was misbehaving in class I'm going to send a referral what do they call them a referral to the principal hi Jennifer Travis I didn't even see you in there I'm so glad that you came I'm so glad you came. But anyway, that is a simple way of doing a journal, a, a tassel for your journal, which is just so much fun. And then when you're working on your task, your journal, you can move that out of the way. So it's not in your way when you're working on your journal. And I love how this journal turned out. I think what I might use this journal for is I'm. this may actually be the prize. I think this is, I'm going to do a little bit more to this. Not much more, but a little bit. But see, I have on my Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn site, we have a challenge every other month. And this one is, this challenge is, that we're doing this month, is uh, a unicorn because we are unicorn people. Um, we're going to do a unicorn flower pot. And I have seen the most awesome ones have been posted already. Um, but, and I think this might be the, the prize. Because I hadn't decided yet what the prize was going to be. But I think this might be it. My jumping jelly being summertime simple. Summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime, 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 some, some, summertime. But anyway, I think this might be the prize. Do you think that would be good? I never want to put a flower on here. No, that won't work. Um, but anyhow, everybody was wonderful. <clears throat> Shelly at Crafting Mamas. Oh, my gosh, you did wonderful. And then next, like I say, comes on Sharon Marlowe. And Sharon is just going to kind of go over everything. And she is going to be there just basically to chat about what we've done this evening. And... Um, Thank you so much. And I will be on live Saturday night. Saturday nights I go on live just for only about an hour. 
just at, I go on 7.30 at my time, uh, Eastern time. And maybe I'm not supposed to be telling you all about this right now. But uh, so on Saturday nights at 7.30 Eastern time, I go on live. And it only lasts for about one hour. I'm, I'm not too long-winded. Well, I am long-winded, but I just can't sit very long because I'm nervous. Because <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I love how my journal turned out. And so I'm glad I played along the whole time. And um, so can somebody put up a link, if you can, to um, Sharon's? Thank you. I rock. Oh, cool. My goodness. In the summertime, all the leaves and trees are green and the red birds sing because you don't want my. Oh, yeah. And so um, if somebody can put the link up to Sharon's. Sharon Marlowe's page, I that would be helpful for anybody who who wants to scoot on over there and please scoot on over there, please. I know it's getting, well, it's getting here late on the East coast, but it's probably not this late because it's almost 1130 over here on the East coast. And, um, and so, yep, this is my journal. Look at it. Look at, I love these pages. I thought how perfect for a summertime journal and a lot of flowers, lots of flowers. And the in the carnival rides, and these are all things like the little clusters. Everything we did tonight, everything we did tonight, and I'm glad that I used my vintage greeting cards. I'm so glad I used them because I have been just. And look at how this one. This one flips this way first with just a little flip, and then it flips this way for a bigger flip and then it's got the envelope behind it to make the pocket and so and there is one of the um Anne's paper clips and so look and then the tags I put, I put the same um yarn on each one of my tags I may not do any of the tags any more than that I might just leave it as it is here and send it out just like this but that's what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to use this as my prize for the when we pick a winner too for the um for the challenge we just put all the names of everybody that did the challenge and then my hubster pulls a name out and so everyone hop on the bus and drive us over to sharon's did somebody put up the link for sharon and see there, this is vintage. I don't think this card was vintage, but this one's definitely vintage. And then a tag behind. But uh, this is a simple journal. It's really simple. And anybody who hasn't made a journal and they just do a simple something like this, these are the flip outs that, uh, that, um, that the Jersey crafter Laura was doing. And using old greeting cards makes a perfect flip out. And this has got a tuck spot in it. And so I could probably tuck something in there. Maybe I could put this dress in there. The dress was one of our challenges that we did on our Scrap and Lizzie group too. Yeah, I'll stick that little dress in there. That's cute in there. I'll put that in there. Wait a minute. I got to get one. I got to put a back on it first. Because right, I like to put backs on my dresses. Thank you, Barbara Clark. Some of these I put, oh yeah, this one I had put a couple of these. When I, once I started making them, I just kept making them. But see, I put backs on them too. So you could make, I'll put, I'll put this one with the back on it in there. A little summertime dress. And so, and then the little button and a little elastic. Okay, Sharon is live. We need to go over to Sharon's. Okay, let's see. Did somebody put up that? Did somebody put up a link? Is this it here? Let me see. Must be. Is that it? I think that's it. No, that must be. Maybe that's me. I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. I got to find her. Okay, I got to find her. I got to find her. 
Okay. Okay, I guess maybe I can go over. Ooh, how do I find her? Um, wait a minute. Okay, how? Renee or Ahmad will have to. Thank you for coming, Janice. And thank you for the happy mail. That was so awesome. Molly Luland. Oh, I'm seeing some names I didn't see before. Okay. I don't know how to get over there to her. I don't know how to get over there to her if there's not a link. Okay. If there's not a link, I don't know how to get over there. Okay. You all go over there if you know how to get there, and I'll catch up. Link in Mary stream description. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to. Hi, Sonia. Oh, Sonia. Yes. We're all headed over to Sharon's now. We're all headed to Sharon. She's already started, and I got to find her. I got to find her. Okay, so I'm going to say good night, and I love you guys, and may God watch over you every step you take and every move you make. Link in my description box. Where's my description box? I'm, I don't even know where that is. Okay, I'll find it. I'll find it. Okay, God bless you all. Link in my description box. There's on this, I don't see. Okay, I'll have to find it. End broadcast. Okay. Link in 